All right, so I gave the opponent Sim 1 in my last video about, you know, like mouse reviews and stuff. So I'm gonna do the opponent Sim 1. Did I say Sim 1 before? Or Sim 2? I don't, I don't know. I did Sim 1, I mean, Sim 2 first, and now I'm doing Sim 1 because it's less popular. Anyway, it's like, I think it's like a Zowie EC2 inspired shape. Um, mine is, you know, obviously modded, you know, I painted the shell, spray, oops, spray painted it. It's got painted, uh, razor, uh, um, what are they called? I'll link them in the description, but, razor universal grip tape. Yeah, that's what they're called. And, yeah, I tab and spray painted them over, so it looked better. Pretty much every mouse I have has zero demounts, or at least, like, one. But yeah, um, it's got, I'm assuming, a 3370 sensor. KLGM 8.0s, I'm pretty sure, or just 8.0s, and, yeah. Um, you can buy it with or without holes on the sides. It's pretty good for all major clicking, <laughs> clicking methods, so let's hop into a few scabber tools. Alright, so we got, I'm going to log into Hypixel, and yeah, I'm just going to start up some scabber tools. Um, I'm not sure if it will be sound, because it wasn't in the last one, but uh, let's just hope it is. So, since this guy has zero demounts, it can obviously... Um, so... That is laggy. Okay. So the tapes that I use that I recommend for dry clicking are um, like waterproof tape. That stuff is insane. For like a non homemade tape. But like. <coughs> sorry. Uh, if you have a double sided tape lying around, I recommend you definitely make a uh, paper tape. Did not mean to do that. Oh, you go out. What you want to know? Ooh. Got a bit of a predicament here. Jitter clicking and butterfly clicking. <coughs> I guess I'll do normal clicking. It's 
So if we butterfly, I don't butterfly that fast, but if I try, hey, I got like 21, 22 there, I don't remember, but you get the gist of it. Get your dog away from me. Alright, so that was like all the three major clicking methods. So I think we can end it there. Overall, I think... <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, okay. Um, the shape. It's a pretty good shape. Mouse feet are amazing. Like... Yeah. For, like, enthusiasts, you might need to replace them if you really want to. But if you're just a casual player, you definitely won't need to spend money on, like, Tide Race or Core Pants. Uh, same with this one. I didn't really address that in my other video. But, yeah. You can also, like, there's button spacers. And you can take this off and... If you really want to know the whole details, I mean, I guess I, I can explain it. So you can take these off, like normally. And there's like button spacers that you can put in here to change the feel of the click. In the Ponage Sim 2 and the Ponage Ergo are like that as well. I do not have a Ponage Ergo because I have a glorious Model D wireless, which will be my next video so uh that is all uh make sure to like comment if you have any questions i have plenty more mice if you want to see reviews on just let me know which one yeah that's that's a suck um uh um uh yeah see, see ya